Hey there, welcome back. It's Breakfast at Tracy's. We've got a brand new week ahead of us and we are continuing on in our series about connection because you and I need connection. We are wired for connection. And today we're continuing to look very specifically at why be connected. At, in Psalm 68, we read these words. God places the lonely in families. He sets the prisoners free and gives them joy, but he makes the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. You know, I've talked to a lot of people, and I fully believe that loneliness is one of the greatest plagues of the 21st century. Now, we can talk about COVID all we want, but loneliness is a huge, big deal. With the increase of independence and individualism and secularism, we have abandoned our usual circles of community, our usual circles of connection, you know, family, church, community. And the result is we're very lonely. And this is the opposite of belonging. Perhaps, you know, if you wanted to find the opposite of belonging, it's loneliness. And I talk to lonely people regularly. And some people are lonely because of circumstances. Some people by choice. But God provides belonging. Isn't that great? God knows we need connection. And so he provides belonging. It says in the New Testament, it describes the church as family. God allows this, this entity, this, this connecting group for you to be part of. The question, though, is, I mean, it's not just, and you know this if you've experienced, if you've been to church for a while, you know that just being part of a group or being included in a group is not necessarily a sense of belonging. There has to be a health in that group. Whether it's a connect group, a, a little group of people, or whether it's a wider church. And how do you have a healthy group? Well, it's got to have love. And it's defined as having full of grace, being full of grace and full of truth. That is love. And it's not just something that you receive, it's something that you must give. It's a back and forth kind of thing. There must be grace and truth. To have a, a healthy family is up to everyone in that group. You can't wait for connection to come to you. You can't say, well, I'm really lonely and people need to come to me. You need to contribute to that grace and truth. Well, what does that look like? Well, here's what I need you to do. If you want to be part of a connect group that's healthy or a church that's healthy or a family that's healthy a marriage that's healthy first of all you give grace that can come in the form of serving that person giving them what they don't deserve encouraging that person and then there's truth you need to give what is god's truth in in his word but also the truth about ourselves what's really going on inside to have that grace and truth, that is real love. That brings belonging. That brings connection. So we need to immerse ourselves in this family that God's provided. You know, not taking advantage of the family that God has provided as the church is like winning the lottery and then leaving the money in the bank. It's there to be spent. Enjoy it. God's gift to you is the church, that family so that you have a place where you always, always belong. Let's pray. God, I thank you that you came for the lonely. And you set the lonely in families. And the greatest expression of family, a forever family, is the church. Lord, may those of us who are followers of Jesus allow that to be our place of truest belonging where we can bring grace and truth and receive grace and truth and be fully loved and accepted for who we are. God, we thank you for this privilege of having a family. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Enjoy your day and get out there and enjoy your family. Take care.